right, welcome back to another exciting and thrilling and page-turning episode. There you go, that's what I was looking for earlier. Page-turning? Page-turning. Keep Turn. on the page. Mark that. Page. You want to put this down? You want to go to the next page? As we present Project Typhon. Secondary title, Monty and the Boys. <laughs> <laughs> With a Z. And ladies. And ladies, yes, thank you. Monty gone wild. Ladies is a strong word. Monty and the crew. How about that? I don't know if it's a strong Better. word. Ah, uh, yes. So, where we left off. See Monty what and the people. Last time. Do it. Monty and the people. And glowing eyes and stuff. Well, if you guys meet a snake, you'd be Monty and the python. Mm <laughs> hmm. Are we meeting us? That was down, that was downstairs. That was downstairs. We don't we don't talk about that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> All right, where well, we left off, we had June in the hallway, and then you had this encounter with this nano suit soldier with a tentacle for an arm, mm-hmm. making all these squishy noises. Body and the tentacles. <laughs> in the barracks, we have Morgan and John. And you have this guy whose head is literally on fire. And he seems to know you. Morgan? It doesn't seem like you're good buddies. I don't know him. No, you don't know him, but he knows you. And then finally over here in the operations room, as you are leaving it, you have, you have no idea. A blur. (laughs) A flash of a person. Something moves just like that. But thanks to Charles' efforts, he determined it is one of these suit-wearing soldiers. Just can't see him. That's why Charles is in charge. Of our lives <laughs> and our days. <laughs> oh, this is some messed up chocolate factory, Charlie. I want Charles in charge of me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, let's start over here in the operations room. What do you do? Um, Because they have no idea about the other two yet, and you always only have one set of walkie-talkies, and one of them's on Monty, and the other one's with John in the security room. John Smith. Oh, she doesn't have one? No, I left it with John since I was coming to (laughs) y'all. Do you copy? You are? I. Um, you have eyes on the uh, room that we're in. Negative. Can you? Cameras are all down. I can't get them up. I work harder. <laughs> Working on it. What do we pay you for? <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember you paying me ever. Good, because I don't either. <laughs> Only pay people that do their jobs. Twenty-two. Actually, I'm just the research assistant, so <laughs> I apologize. You pay no one. Twenty-two. Yeah. All right, you reboot the system. As you do, the cameras come back online. Okay, now I see you. <laughs> Stop waving like an idiot. <laughs> How many of us do you see in this room? It's two. Three. 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 Oh, can't see so it's Sorry. just me and the doctor and Charlie. Right now, I could have yeah. sworn I just saw something running around and Charlie thinks that it's that hacker friend of yours wearing his new stupid suit. You see what looks like a fly, like flying across the camera? Mm. Something weird going on in the camera. Just weird. All right. Well, like if it's a there's fly, something, is it like there's something crawling on my screen. Hmm. Do you see the camera? Is there something on the lens? Charlie, can you see the camera? <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes, it's right there. Is there something on the lens? Uh, let me check. My glasses on. It's part of his suit. They just come down like. Yeah. <laughs> Zoom in. Yeah. Is there something on the lens? Can no, I there's see? not. There is not anything on that lens. You're seeing things. I don't know. Charlie? Did I, did I just hear you guys say you saw something? 
Oh, yeah, yeah, I saw something. And well, Charles, you feel a tap on your shoulder. <laughs> I will turn to look. You can feel? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have sensors. He has sensors, yeah. <laughs> so you turn to look, <laughs> and there's nothing there. Oh. <laughs> I will back up against a wall <laughs> and look around. Inside I will the back up right? against Charlie yeah, yeah. and look yeah. around. <laughs> so you got Charlie was back to the wall. Montgomery has his back to Charlie. Gun out. Wait, how is that even possible? Oh, oh hello. <laughs> you're... <laughs> yeah, you're sort of like the big spoon. I will protect you. That's what I was looking for. I'll cover. I'll like cross the guns. I can cross the guns in front of them. Yeah. Don't cross the street. Doctor, get between us. We'll keep you safe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> Just go stand beside them. <laughs> Let them have their moment. What do I see in the hall? Uh, all you see in the hall is, again, what looks to be kind of like the, like a fly when it's flying in front of a camera. You know, it's like something that's obstructing your view, but you can't tell exactly what it is because it doesn't stay still long enough. Okay, there's something moving in the room you guys are in and in the hallway. Something moving fast enough that the camera can see it but not pick up what it is. Can I roll to figure out what it is? I got a 31. Whoa. Combined with his information that you have, uh, whatever this is, it's one of these uh, experiments, uh, these soldiers from this program. From what it sounds like is that he's moving quick, so quick that you can't actually pinpoint where he is. He's in one of those suits right now. Can I... Mm. Can I try to disturb the frequency? Since I've already scanned one of the suits. Disturb the frequency. So it can, so we can see it, or he slows down, or something, mess it up. Can we increase the shutter speed on my camera, the frame rate? So that one, I don't know if you can. I can overclock. Do I overclock? (laughs) Unfortunately, (laughs) you're no longer four two. Not four two. Or to if he was here, he would oh, save the us all. Suit you could if you could lock onto it long enough. So as you are figuring that out, barracks. I was gonna shoot him before we left. All right, I rolled a twenty-one to shoot him <laughs> with the di- with the disadvantage. I saw 21. you roll it. <laughs> oh, because oh, you still don't have the skill. No. <laughs> so he rolled a twenty-one with the disadvantage. So he's keeping with that the penalty. Role. You mean, yeah. yeah, yeah. With the penalty, with the penalty, you rolled a twenty-one. Still, wow, that's impressive. All right, so yes, yeah, so you fire off the rifle, and as you do it, it hits. Okay, so it hits him. Yes. <laughs> but where? But wait, there's more. So as it hits him, you see it penetrates the nano suit, right? But then the the suit begins to self heal. For good reason, too, because underneath it is flames. It's the Ghost Rider. Do I see? So essentially, it's containing the rest of that form. Okay. So it's more than just a flaming head. It's a whole flaming person. Or but do skeleton. I recognize that as this is, like, after I shoot him? Um, mm-hmm. Okay. So is this your suit? I have no idea. Did we check? Do they have names on the inside? Oh, yeah. Let me check the tag. Let's check the tag real fast. (laughs) Oh, it's Bob. (laughs) Uh, But no, uh, you're the the wrist device that you have on you. Mm -hmm. uh, You can try fiddling with it if you like and try to, since it is electronic, you can try to uh, hack it to find out who it belongs to. Well, I mean, hack it and then sync it to his own genetic signature. Oh. With me being familiar with the suits, can I assist him? Oh, my God. Uh, not in this one, because this is a technical. 27. 27. All right, so that's what you're doing currently. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Tapping. <laughs> tap, 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 tap. Going into the settings. Oh, come on. So you're working on uh, hacking into the uh, wrist device itself. And I'm like behind him. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. 
shooting didn't work. He just kind of laughs at you as he looks at you and he just says, that is exactly why you are a failure. Try mean words. As he walks, takes a step towards you. And you can see he uh, creates a, a fire in his hands. So his entire like hand is covered in fire. And then he basically lunges towards you with his flaming fist. Fire fist. To punch you. You need Ooh. like water. I push him into the fist. <laughs> you push me into the fist? I tripped. Okay, there should be tons of fire extinguishers in this I roll office a, building. I uh, roll 17. 18. I roll an 18. To 18. I guess dodge. All right. So you do dodge out of the way of the fist. However, the heat of the flame, uh, it does actually scorch you. <laughs> so as it does, it kind of does blacken uh, your skin, actually, because as he misses your face, so it kind of singes your face. So that's, uh, it would be four damage. That's the money maker. <laughs> Four damage. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Yeah. Do you have any armor? Uh, <laughs> yeah, the security. I have the security oh, okay. So suit on, yeah. That's four. So I'm down to. And it's polyester suit, so like it catches on fire. <laughs> <laughs> I can't take any more damage. And as that happens, his fist hits the uh, wall. And when it does, it pretty much just starts melting through the wall. Hmm. I would like to, is, is there a sprinkler system in the barracks? Yeah. Are we up to, is this place up to code? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Careful, you might have to flood it and you have to call somebody. I like, how, <laughs> I like how Ryan's in like disaster mode right now. Like, <laughs> I know what to do in this situation. But so, somebody you know can access the security. Oh, yeah? The, the sprinkler system. The person he's with or... Person that just pushed him. The person, that just, yeah, <laughs> uh, shoved me. No, John Smith can if you can find some way to get a hold of him. Well, I'm looking at all the cameras. Is the camera in there? Yeah, it's on. And you see this guy that's basically like, as I described already. A dude on fire. Man on fire. Well, I'll ask him movie. if he 22. knows if he has a way to set off the. I mean, I feel like I could just jump up and like 22. hit one of the sprinkler 22. heads and set off the whole system. So, 22. So, you successfully activate the sprinkler system. To shoot the sprinklers. In that room. In that room only, yes. Right. So, you guys hear kind of like an alarm going off down mm-hmm. the hall. And then the sprinkler system activates. And when it does, it basically just kind of douses him with, uh, with the water. Is it just that room? One just room? Just that one room, yes. What do you do next? Is he, is he still aflame? Oh, no, he's not. The flame is actually being put out with a sprinkler system. And he's kind of, he's trying to guard himself as best as he can from it. Okay. So does that mean he's like a physical person now? Or is it just a skeleton? <laughs> actually, yes, he's a physical person. You actually see a physical person now. Does he recognize him? I want to punch him in the face like mm-hmm. you punch me in the face. <laughs> and I rolled a 28. Nice. Nice. Yeah, you successfully punched him straight across the jaw. Does he recognize him? my trooper strength. <laughs> and actually, as you do this, you feel a, uh, kind of a, after taking damage, you feel kind of like a surge of strength within you. Like when you open up the lock from the locker that you couldn't, you couldn't get the, the lock to break, all of a sudden you just snapped it in half. So same thing. So you feel the surge of strength as you go to strike him. As you do, you just pow, right across, and it sends him actually into the wall. Am I aware? I'm aware of like my own strength now, right? Or now you're beginning to, yes. Okay. And uh, you do that, and uh, of course uh, you deal four damage to him. You shove me again. That's going to be you. <laughs> Why don't you shoot him? <laughs> so he kind hits the wall out of the way. and he just kind of rubs his jaw and he looks at you and he says now that's who I remember and then he just runs towards you to do, kind of do a football tackle and just kind of tackle you what do you do I'll try to dodge out of the way ooh I have disengage 
<laughs> You're just going to leave the room. <laughs> <laughs> and that is 24. For disengaging? To disengage. <laughs> so he goes to tackle you, and you quickly stop him. Uh, and as you kind of move out of the way, you just kind of throw him down to the ground, using his momentum, and then you just exit the room. I'd... Meanwhile, uh, John, there you get the uh, the wrist device to work. Woohoo! So you got it. It uh, you manage to hack into it, and now it's reading your genetic signature and uh, syncing up. Yay! So meanwhile, as that's happening, this guy's getting back up. Peace, green brother. <laughs> And he looks extremely angry, but not at you. <laughs> I'm trying to kill the stripper, too. I mean, I'm, yeah. <laughs> and so, but, 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 I'm on your side. <laughs> the flame guy here goes after him. Wow. Cool. After, oh, does he know that I'm... How does he know that I left? There's only one way out of his room. Maybe I'm still in the room. Maybe I'm hiding. Well... He's going out of the room. He doesn't know where you are. Uh, okay. So, I mean, you went into the hall. It could be anywhere. But he knows you went out of the room. But <laughs> All right. Moving over here to June. In the hall. Mm -hmm. You have this tentacle thing. Mm-hmm. What do you do? Is it just standing there? It is for a moment. It has heavy breathing. I don't know, I get my gun out, but I slowly back away and try to find the other people. I don't want to, like, engage with it right now, unless it's going to, like, come you at me. You might not have a choice in that matter. Yeah, I would say, if it's going to, like, come at me, like, right now it's just standing there. It's been following me, hasn't attacked or anything. I don't want to just, you know. Instigate. Yeah, I mean. That's it, a good tentacle monster. It might be. I don't know. I'm just going to keep my eye on it and slowly walk backwards and try to find right. someone else. Tentacles need love too, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Make a defensive roll. Can you get me the little thingy? This it's thing? on that side. This thingy thingy. Don't break it, though. I try not to. I mean, I know i got to make gentle. more, but... What is it off of? Uh, it's evade dex. As a tentacle reaches towards you. And evade 21. 21. Yes. Yep, yeah, 20 was the benchmark. Well, I beat it by one. So the tentacle retracts and then extends towards you. And even though you're backing up away from it, it still is able to reach out towards you, uh, almost touching you, actually, as it like tries to grab your gun. Yeah, it actually tries to go and grab your gun as you pull back, just in time for it to grab air. Now can I shoot it, then? If you want to, or you can turn around and run. I'm going to shoot it. I'm going to try to shoot it. <laughs> go for it. And that goes off of Dex. Yes. 18? 18. 18. Well, you do manage to shoot it. However, what you don't count on is how quick its reflexes are. So, the bullets uh, end up grazing it. As it does, it damages the suit, but then the suit repairs itself. Get out of there. What you see, though, is that when it does graze it, it's almost like this uh, kind of like black blood, basically. just kind of, you know, shoots out. Mm-hmm. Am I in a position to yeah. assist her? Before you turn and run, you notice that its uh, other arm turns into a tentacle. So it was a regular arm, but now he has two, or it yes. has two tentacle arms. And he starts making his way toward you as you turn around and run. All right. All right. So back over here in operations room. Still looking for flies mostly. <laughs> well, you see something else now. So, uh, Dr. Larson, where are you in the room? 
I thought it was near them. They're with their backs to everything. Okay. All right. She's next to them with her back against the wall. <laughs> so, as you continue to see this mirage almost, as it changes positions in the room, finally it stops right in front of you, Montgomery. But it's not standing still. It's, it's like a flash. Yes, yeah, it's consistently moving. So it's he's one in one place, but his head is shifting very quickly. Who are you? He just kind of just looks at you. Just kind of stares. He's the reverse Charles fourteen. <laughs> Do you speak no. of the English Charles negative fourteen? <laughs> you hear him talk through his uh, mask, his uh, respirator. Mm-hmm. It's the opposite of Charles. And he says, John. Experiment 210. Oh, good. You speak English. You are not from here. Nope. But. I'll go ahead and slam the staff against the ground as soon as he speaks back to me, knowing that he speaks the tongue of the land. And I'll hit him with compel. Uh, with right, 25 would be the benchmark. Using my mask. 24, 25. Do I? That'll be the two points I need to make a 25. Um. Alright, you get one. Remove the suit. Project, whatever you said your name was. 11005. So he looks at you, and he says, Gladly. He hits the button, and the suit removes. Does he have claws on underneath? <laughs> now, what you see, though, is make a roll. It's a uh, constitution. All right. Who? All of Everybody. Us? All three of you. Okay. Does it have to be constitution? Can I dodge? Oh, there's no dodge in this. Okay. Apparently, there's not any dodging. 13. <laughs> I throw up. Oh, Where's not my that. Little, where's my little, my little sheet? My what are you looking sheet, for? My Your tasty sheet. sheet. 16. Um, I got a 21. 21? Do you know where John's character sheet went? Uh, Maybe it's in your sketchbook. <sighs> Is it in a sketchbook? It might be. Oh. Do you have Charles 14? What's my constitution? Oh, I rolled a 19. Oh. Oh, that's a John Doom. Is it in the other sketchbook? Is it in Tony's? Because he was just drawing in Tony's book a second ago. Oh, here it is. Oh, never mind. Constitution equals... So total, I rolled a 25. 25. All right. 25, 13. And what was yours, Dr. Larson? 21. 21? Yep. You said yours was what, 25? 25. Okay, you got it. All right. Um, So... When a suit removes, uh, you do start becoming nauseated. As you, what you see, it's hard to comprehend. Um, it's essentially like multiple wavelengths. Is what you're seeing, mm-hmm. kind of like, um, hmm. like when you see, look at a, a road when it's really hot outside. You can see the the heat coming off of it, the and mirage, the mirage of it, yeah. and that's what you see. And your brain is having a very hard time of actually processing this. And so it's starting to make you nauseous and lose your focus. Yeah. My brains. So the suit essentially has been containing this. Oh, glorious day. All right. Charles, you're not affected by it. Oh, good. Well, he's a robot. He... Wouldn't be. Right? Not necessarily. Charles! Um, His uh, optics. Charles, hold him down. Charlie, I need you. He's such a distractible robot. (laughs) Oh, I was looking at a picture I drew earlier. Uh, Yes, yes. I need you to hold him down. (laughs) Oh, God. All right. Do I roll for that? Or can I just hold him down? I'm rolling. Roll for it. Okay, let's see what we get. It's going to be a 25. Okay. 
Um, I rolled a five. So I guess I'll roll again. I got this. You're gonna need to roll again with that, yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Let me zoom in. Oh, I rolled worse. I rolled a two. So that with my strength is a ten. Ten. Yeah, as you go to grab him, he essentially phases through you. Oh, cool. I want to phase. The only problem is it disrupts your electronics when he does that. What if I phase? You take three damage. <laughs> I could phase two. <laughs> Charlie's like, I want to do that right now. You can I'm do it. Try. Just a minute. Well, it's too late. I've taken the no, damage. No, it's your only phase. What if you need it later? Well, you know. You only have one Use charge. it or you'll lose it. You don't it. really want to go through a is phase. Is Charles right going now? through a phase? Okay. I take how many damages? Three. three. Uh oh. I'm almost dead. Join the club. Who are you sitting at right now? Hmm? Who are you sitting at? One. Oh, well, it's... <laughs> it wasn't even a positive. You're still pretty good. Hmm. All right. <laughs> I failed. Uh, that was something. All right, so... Can I just shoot him? <laughs> you can. You do have two guns. I have two guns. <laughs> I'll shoot at the same time. Because right now he's bouncing back and forth. Okay. He's just, just widespread. I start spinning around. Everybody duck. <laughs> I'm like General Grievous if he had machine guns. I know you can't focus, guys, but duck. <laughs> I'm closing my eyes. I don't want to see uh, you get shot. Go ahead and roll. Okay, I rolled a 16. That's. And what was this going off of? Dexterity? Dexterity, yeah. 10, 16, 26. 26. Yes, that's, that's definitely good enough. So can, I, can I be like spinning the machine gun on my finger like that while they fire? I think you're more like just standing up and then just turning around. Firing okay. off the machine that's gun. less cool sound, <laughs> but I'll take it. You're just going around in a circle lighting up the entire room. So, Dr. Larson and Montgomery, go ahead and roll to duck. I think it's not what's coming. I've closed my eyes just in case I accidentally hit them. I don't want to see it. Oh. Because <laughs> cool guys don't blink. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I just I closed them. They blink once. She got a point two, point four. Four. Good job. And what'd you get, Montgomery? Not 24. <laughs> 12. 12? Ooh, uh, you're going to need this back. Thank you. Yeah. Six damage. That's a lot of damage. So, Charles, you light up the entire room. All right. The projector gets hit. The, the screen gets hit. So does the chairs. And the monk You're seeing this on camera. Oh. He's like... <laughs> I'm like... Uh, I'm, uh. Dr. Nico was able to drop to the ground quick enough, but Montgomery was not, and he got hit by uh, some of the stray bullets. But you know what he did hit? This guy. All right. Because he lit up the entire room. He wasn't able to actually dodge all of them. He's not Neo. <laughs> no. But, so you see him move quickly, and then all of a sudden he just drops to the ground. And when he drops, he's moving so quick, he just kind of like skids. So, ooh, extra hurtage. And he hits, it's like it's like it's a flash tripped or something. Right. And when he he's in the, the middle of the air. He he can flail really fast, but he can't stop his momentum. Exactly. And that's what <laughs> happens. So his momentum carries him into the wall. Nice. And then he just kind of slouches. Snap. We're gonna go ahead over there and hit him. What you see, though, is that his form, uh, basically, it starts calming down, so it's not it's not as excited, and then all of a sudden, you just see kind of his humanoid form is what it is, and he has, you know, kind of bullets written in him, and he's just coughing. Oh, so he's coughing. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and blast him in the face. <laughs> all right, with what? My double barrel. All right. You don't even have to roll for it. <laughs> Execution style. This hurt. 
<laughs> angry, but not at you. Sorry. Not at you. It's his fault. It is his fault. Now, in the hallway, you guys hear gunshots in the hallway. I'm in the hallway running. You are, and you run into Morgan. Bam! You run into <laughs> Morgan brick wall? as he's running. They like run into each other. You run into each other. <laughs> now, what you see behind Morgan is that there's this guy who now his the flame is reignited, flaming head with a flaming fist now, walking towards him, and then behind you is this tentacle thing, and that's what you see. And you run back towards the flaming guy. <laughs> You're like. <laughs> Tentacles. Ooh. What do you do? Hmm. She still has her gun, right? Yep. I have my yep. gun out. Or guns out, actually. Well, fire guy's there, so. Let's shoot yours. <laughs> you know, you could duck. She could fire above you, and then you could fire beside her. I don't trust myself. <laughs> I don't think I trust him either. <laughs> I'm not going Look, to do that. If Charles can light up an entire room and hit a guy who can pretty much dodge just about everything, if we're I'm after sure your, you can do it. if we're like side by side and we shoot this, yeah, one of us maybe will hit the the other guy. If you want to do that. Sounds good. We're shooting somebody. Before the fire guy gets to us. So what are you shooting? The tentacle person. All right, so you turn around and fire on the tentacle person? Mm -hmm. Both guns? Mm -hmm. All right, go for it. So he runs towards you. With the disadvantage of 21. Scat. <laughs> what was that? You didn't was get Was that the shot? I believe it. I'm re-rolling. Okay, it's better. And what are you doing? I'm doing this. I'm shooting the same guy. Okay. Light him up. Same time. Get? 21. 21. All right. 24. 24. All right. So, yeah. So, are you guys just walking towards him, firing at him? Sure. You guys okay getting wet? I'll put that guy out behind <laughs> me. Light up the fire, turn on the fire scene reserve. Ring the ring. Right, sounds good. Me. So you uh, you both you fire on them. Uh, the, I'm gonna make it rain. <laughs> the octopus thing, <laughs> tentacles. Uh, as it runs towards you and flailing its tentacles, as they try to reach out and grab you, you guys end up dodging all the tentacles and while firing it on it. And as you do, you fire enough to you basically take it down. So he bring it, whatever it is, just falls down. And then grows. And the tentacles grow. actually retract, and then they become his arms once again. So he comes up, person. Hmm. Tw Twenty-three to turn on the fire thing, so they put up the other guy. All right. One second. Uh, the fire guy. While you guys are doing that, he uh, essentially was threw fireballs at you. So you turn around to see flame essentially flying towards you. So make a defensive roll on that. How do you catch up to me so fast? Both of us. Hmm. Both of us? Mm -hmm. Okay. Fifteen. Seventeen. Your Tina Moon. <laughs> Alright, so two fireballs hit you. Uh, and when it does it just the force of it just knocks you back. And it let's see it deals three damage. It's about that. To, yeah, three damage each. And then the fire sprinklers turn on. And when they do, it dowels him out again. Well, that puts me over. Make sure you subtract your DR. He doesn't have mm -hmm. a DR. Well, what are you at? Four. My max is five. It was off of our con, right? So yeah. I'm at seven now. Right, but you're only in negatives right now, though. So you're at negative two. Oh, okay. So you put, yeah. So there's zero there, and you're negative two down below. Who's got to get him a suit? I have how many? Uh, hmm? What was the damage? Three. Oh, okay, so I just take one. Meanwhile, John over there, you got it calibrated. It has synced itself to your genetic signature. And it says, proceed. Yes. 
like, yes, let's do it. Do it, so do it, do it, do it, do it. All of a sudden, you feel this uh, sharp pain kind of in your neck. Yeah. And you're like, oh, oh, that's that's a cold feeling. <laughs> As something enters into your body. Mm. And then you can feel your body react to it. And uh, your body starts stiffening up. And uh, your vision goes a little blurry. And, and you then die. you hit the ground. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> then you die. <laughs> Why is that so funny? 